It's watching you with eight eyes open. This is the Nokia Ozo, a 360-degree stereoscopic camera encased in a smooth grey sphere. Each lens has a 195-degree field of view with an aperture at f2.4. Behind them are 2K by 2K synchronised sensors capturing footage at 30 frames a second. Audio is recorded with eight microphones capturing sound from every angle. There's a price tag to match all these specs, an eye-watering $45,000 US dollars. Apart from the camera, this digital cartridge is essential. It has the battery and a media module with 500 gigabytes of storage. This one is an extra $5,000. But there's even more to invest. To connect the camera, you need an SDI cable, a Thunderbolt cable, and a Blackmagic Ultra Studio mini recorder. You guessed it, none of these are included. Everything is controlled through the Ozo remote app that runs only on certain high-end Macs. The Blackmagic box converts the signal from the camera and allows you to preview the shot and set exposure. The app lets you adjust shutter speed, colour temperature and start or stop recording. You can also select to shoot with just the four cameras in the middle ring or all eight. Having to carry around the entire camera setup, which comes in this rolling case, and a computer can be kind of cumbersome, so we hope that they'll be introducing a phone app sometime soon. But there is an advantage to having all of this gear, and that's confidence, because you can monitor and set everything up and know you've got the shot before you start recording. We took the Ozo on two main shoots. The first one, we mounted all 9.3 pounds of it on the inside of a car. The second was at the Green Toys manufacturing plant. Two very different situations that put the Ozo to the test, from changing lighting conditions to lots of movement. Make sure to check out the results for yourself in full 360. Processing footage takes time and it's resource intensive. To give you an idea, one minute of video takes seven hours to make a final stitch. The post-production is a whole other discussion as well, which you can find out more about on the CNET article. So overall, the Ozo isn't a camera for you and me, but as a professional filmmaking tool, it's bound to open up possibilities that are just the tip of the VR iceberg.